While everyone wants to throw a grenade at the latest Dragon Age game and watch it burn, and frankly I am one of them, I have some good news in the form of upcoming game Greed for 2, The Dying New World, and the fact that this game is more Dragon Age than the latest Dragon Age. Let me explain. When I think of Dragon Age, I think of Origins, the first entry in the series, and how the turn-based combat was ever so satisfying. Pausing the game at any moment to decide what each party member will be doing and watching it all unfold at the same time when you unpaused was an absolute pure delight to behold. Well, the Greed 4 devs obviously feel the same as this level of strategy has been implemented into their next entry into the series. Now. For those of you who would be new to Greed 4, it offers a lot more than simply playing like Dragon Age. In fact, let me get you excited for the next game, and if you are new here, tickle that subscribe button, because I asked you nicely, and put fireworks on the screen, just for you. Thank you to those of you who accepted my bribe, and let us proceed. Do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. So one of the surprising reasons why the first Greedful game stood out so much was believe it or not due to their dialogue and I'm not a dialogue man, I am not the sort of gamer who really cares that much for dialogue and multiple choices in conversation and how the NPCs react. I'm normally right down to perving on the graphics and the gameplay which would be the combat but let me assure you. Greed 4 stood out on its own because of its mature subject matter, the fact that the game didn't tell you how to feel and let you dare be an adult and make decisions on your own, and just frankly the dialogue was simply written so well that it was enjoyable to behold. You never actually got frustrated if there was a cutscene and you needed to just sit there and watch, as that was part of the experience. Also negotiating with NPCs, uncovering the truth and the fantastic story that was hidden underneath, absolutely a delight that was just as enjoyable as the combat. Speaking of which, we need to talk about the combat because the combat was fantastic. Now, what was interesting about the combat in Greed 4 was, yeah, it's definitely turn-based, that's why you clicked on this video, because I made the bold claim that Greed 4 2 will play like the original Dragon Age Origins game, and let you pause the combat, choose all your different warriors and mages and rogues, and choose what each action each single member will do, and then unpause it and let it unfold, that is true. However, the original Greed 4, as much as it did support turn-based combat, was actually technically a real-time combat game, which is what made it quite impressive. So you had the option of completely playing, playing this game as an action RPG. Where the respect comes in is they implemented a turn-based system just in case you wanted it. However, unlike the recent Final Fantasy VII Remake games, when they add turn-based combat, they took it as seriously as a real-time combat, and it was done in such an excellent fashion that it really introduced newcomers to their combat. I remember specifically, after I did the tutorial in the original Greed 4 game, I thought I had things done and I went and played the game, and then when I came across my first group of wolves, because it was time to actually play the darn game, I forgot everything and it popped out of, out of my head. I panicked and I accidentally hit the L1 button, but guess what? When I hit the L1 button and held it down, it paused the game. Not only did it do that, and then all of my moves popped up, but it even said what each one of my moves did. And that I thought was extremely user friendly because not only did it give me, the newcomer, the ability to play turn based before I was ready to play it in real time, but it also reminded me of the moves I had just been taught that I had already forgotten. So whether you wanted to play the first Greed 4 in real time or turn based was up to you. There's already numerous improvements. In the first Greed 4 game, you could actually only control your main character. The best you could do with your team that ran around you is you could give them items, you could give them armor, you could give them weapons, and you can push them in the direction of how you would like them to approach combat situations, but you never actually controlled them. However, in Greed 4 2, you can and will control all of your party members, which will be fantastic fantastic because then that does let you once again pause the real-time combat if that is your thing it certainly is mine it will let you pause the combat it will let you select it will let you get your mage to throw the fireball it will let you get your road to sneak up a stab in the back it will let you choose your engineering guy where you want to plant a bomb right in the middle of things it is all up to you and it is fantastic since frankly the latest dragon age game looks like hot garbage to me and this will be more of a dragon age game than dragon age itself speaking of the combat 
what Grade 4 did very well. And of course, I'm going to keep referring to the original because we're going to get more of what we experienced in the original, but even better. Remember, I'm bringing you up to date or I'm reminding you, Smexy ladies and gentlemen, why Grade 4 was fantastic in the first place. So firstly, credit where due to these indie developers. You may find that in a lot of recent video games when you play, say you get yourself a new piece of armor, say you get yourself a new weapon, a lot of the times all that happens is that your specs go up. So in other words, the numbers go up and you do damage. Whereas the actual physical, physical representation of what you see in the game remains the same. Not in Greedfall, surprisingly. Every single time I upgraded a piece of armor, a weapon, my boots, my gloves, my weapons, the handle, the tip, so many different... Um, person and fight so many different things that you could upgrade and break down to pieces every single upgrade had a different look had a different visual representation and it was just very satisfying that every time i did the slightest adjustment the changes were there and i love that now a unique experience that greedfall does provide is the fact that they have a balanced system think stellar blade in a way where once you get rid of the armor then you can knock the enemy down with a special move you could actually do that in greedfall Typically, the first thing you'd want to do is bring down their armor, and then that will let you knock them down. Now, it's not going to do a fancy move like in Stellar Blade, but it will let you knock them down. And I have to say, there is something deeply satisfying about knowing the exact moment you can knock enemies down. And you can choose as well if you want to prioritize that and focus that. By the end of my playtime with Greed 4, I was able to run up to the weaker enemies and knock them all down in a single swing. And as is the case in most RPGs, it can get a bit boring when you're executing your most big flashy moves and frankly the enemy barely reacts and all you see is a big number pop up on the screen. Not in Greedful, when you played your card right you would actually see them fall and balancing how much damage you actually wanted to do towards the enemy or to their armor was up to you. Do you focus on their health? Do you focus on their armor? The strategy was very satisfying. The multiple classes were fun. And also this game made guns feel very powerful. You could get guns in this game and you could blast them from a safe distance and it felt lovely. How they countered the OP-ness of the guns was the fact that you had limited ammo and so that would play a big strategic part. And it was just a delight to behold. Now. The visual representation of Greed 4 1 was actually quite nice. A lot of the times you'd be running around with the sun hitting you, with the flare effect, with everything going on. You could mistake it for a triple A game at some points, whereas at other points you could tell it was a double A game. Uh, Greed 4 2 seems to have taken a dramatic increase in visual representation and frankly just looks like a lot of fun. I like the fact that the developers have been open about the fact that they were inspired by Dragon Age Origins. That's actually one of my favorite games of all times. I seriously need to reinstall that game and do a retrospective, but I really appreciated the dark grittiness of Dragon Age. And I liked the fact that in that game, you could play it as real-time combat as you wanted, or you could pause and choose what every single one of your members does individually. I always appreciated the option. And my, a pet peeve of mine is that I feel there isn't enough turn-based games at the moment. With the success of game series like Baldur's Gate 3, I'm hoping that uh, has helped inspire some developers, which is part of the reason why I think the latest Dragon Age looks like butt, apart from the fact that I hate the character designs and there's just so much going on there, which is just... It's, it's gross, it's clearly not for the old school Drage, Dragon Age fans, but also to be absolutely brutal here, I think action, I think turn-based games being made into purely action RPGs is a weak effort. It does not strike me as fun, and frankly, I think smashing this square button is boring. I would much rather try to be strategic and think about my decisions and think about distance between me and the enemy and controlling the four or five different people that are on my team. I find that a much more thrilling experience, and frankly, I enjoy a slower pace of gaming. It's not that I can't get good, as they say, I'm actually an excellent video gamer, Ha, I should call myself a video gamer. My goodness, that sounded daggy. But you know what I mean. I can adjust to whatever game. It's not hard for me to get good at action games. The problem is I get bored with action games because once you get your reflexes down, then no enemies pose a threat. But if you're playing a turn-based game, the enemy is going to hit you. You're going to take it in turns. And I love that feeling of playing chess 
but in a video game world. And frankly, because I'm a graphics perv, I love rotating the camera and taking in all the pretty environments. Anyway, thank you so much for lasting this long. I hope you're looking forward to playing Greedfall 2 The Dying New World. If you can't wait, maybe buy the first Greedfall game, smash through that before the second one comes out. It is definitely a gem. It is definitely worth keeping an eye on out there for. If you are a Dragon Age fan, don't let this slip by just because it's not from a AAA developer. God bless you all. Take care. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.